Now in order to find the volume of revolution about the x-axis we need to say that v always equals pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x going between the limits pi upon 6 in this case to pi upon 2. I'm just going to call them a and b. It will save me a bit of room first of all and I'll substitute a and b in as pi upon 6 and pi upon 2 at the end of the question. OK, so we've got that far and we now need to just substitute for y. So that is, in this question anyway, 2 sine x plus cosec x. And we square that with respect to x. Next, I'd want to expand this bracket. So we'd have pi times the integral from a to b. Expanding the bracket, we have 2 sine x, that's squared, so that's going to be 4 sine squared x. Then we have twice the product. The product is 2 sine x cosec x. So if we double that, we get 4 sine x cosec x. So that's plus 4 sine x cosec x. And then lastly, square the last term and that will be plus cosec squared x and that's integrated all with respect to x. Next I want to tidy this up so we have pi times integral from a to b still. 4 sine squared x uh, I'll leave that as just 4 sine squared x at the moment but this term here 4 sine x cosec x. Now remember that cosec x is 1 over sine x so 4 sine x times 1 over sine x is just going to come to 4 so that's going to be just simply 4 and then for cosec squared x I'll just leave that in cosec squared x dx. Now when it comes to integrating the 4 is OK, we can integrate that, no problem at all, that will be 4x. Cosec squared x, that one's a known integral, that is going to be minus cot x, so we've got that covered. Sine squared x though, that's an awkward one, so how do we cope with that? Well, I'll just show you, we'll do this in the side here. What we've got to do is call upon an identity, and that identity is cos 2a. You should know that cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And if I rearrange this for sine squared a, or 2 sine squared a, we'd have that 2 sine squared a would be equal to 1 minus cos 2a. So I can use that identity. Let's just write this out again. Pi times the integral from a to b. Now we need, we've got 4, 4 sine squared x here, so that's going to be twice this amount. So where we have an a, it's an x, so therefore 4 sine squared x is going to be 2 lots of 1 minus cos 2x. So I'm just going to put that in there, that that's going to be 2 lots of 1 minus cos 2x. Then we have the 4, so we'll just pop that in there, and the cosec squared x, okay. dx. So it looks like we can now get ready to integrate this, although really what I think I'll do is I'll expand this bracket and just group up the final terms before integrating. So we have 2 times 1 is 2, group it with the 4 here, that's going to be 6. Then we have minus 2 cos 2x, minus 2 cos 2x, and then plus cosec squared x, and that be dx on the end there. OK, we're all ready to integrate now, so we have pi between, OK, I have just square brackets here, integral of 6 with respect to x is going to be 6x, integrating minus 2 cos 2x with respect to x, that's going to be minus sine 
2x. Now the integral of cos x squared x is minus cot x. If you do forget that, you'll normally find that that's in your book of tables. If you diff you'll look under differentiating cot x and you'll see you get minus cos x squared x. So I've made the adjustment on the sign here. Now our limits are from a to b. I'm going to write them in now as from pi upon 6 to pi upon 2. And all that's left to do is just to substitute these values in for x. So I'll just move that up a bit more. So have our pi there and putting the pi upon 2 in first of all we have 6 times pi upon 2 minus the sine of twice pi upon 2 so that's sine of pi and then minus cot of pi upon 2 and I'll put that all in brackets and we have minus Put the pi upon 6 through, so we have 6 times pi upon 6 minus the sine of 2 lots of pi upon 6, that's going to be pi upon 3, and finally minus the cot of pi upon 6. Alright, so what do we have? We have the pi then on the outside. 6 times pi upon 2, that's going to be 3 pi. The sine of pi, that's 0. The cot of pi upon 2, cot being 1 over the tan of an angle, so we have 1 over the tan of pi upon 2. Tan of pi upon 2 is infinite. 1 over an infinite value is basically 0, so that's going to go to 0. Then we have 6 pi over 6, that's minus pi. Sine of pi upon 3, well that's going to be root 3 over 2. So we have minus minus root 3 over 2, so that's plus root 3 over 2. And the cot of pi upon 6, I think of that as 1 over the tan of pi upon 6, which is 1 over root 3. So that's going to be root 3. And then we have minus minus, that's plus another root 3. And finally then, grouping this up, we have pi, square bracket then, 3 pi minus pi, that's 2 pi. And root 3 upon 2 plus another root 3, that's going to be 1 and a half root 3 or simply 3 root 3 over 2. And that gives us the volume of revolution then, the exact value. And that brings us to the end of this example.